Hey students, today I'm here to discuss the solution of an NCRT question from your NCRT book. So this is from the chapter Understanding Quadrilaterals. This is exercise 3.3, question number 2, second part. So let's quickly take a look at this question. Consider the following parallelogram. So here we have a parallelogram. We have to find out the value of the unknowns x, y and z over here. So we can see that this angle is 50 degree. Here this is x, this is y and this is z. So we have to find out the value of the unknowns over here, these variables. So what I can see over here is we know that the opposite sides of a parallelogram, they are parallel as well as equal, right? So these are the parallel sides over here, right? And these angles over here, this 50 degree and x, these are basically, we can say that these are co-interior angles or these angles are adjacent angles as well. So their sum would be 180 degrees, right? They would be supplementary. So x plus 50 degree, that's going to be equals to 180 degrees. So x would be equals to 180 degrees minus 50 degrees, that's 130 degrees. So we have the value of x. Now we also know that opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So x and y, they are going to be equal in that case. So I can say over here that both of their values are going to be equals to 130 degrees. This is also 130 degrees. Talking about angle Z, now we know one thing that over here these lines are parallel. Let me just remove this. These lines are also parallel and this is the transversal. And this X and Z over here, they are forming corresponding angles. So measure of angle Z that is also going to be equals to X, that's going to be 130 degree. So now we have the values of all the three unknown variables X, Y and Z. Now do leave a comment for me in the comment section how you like this video.